This is my mobile phone. I used to work on this. And this is where your mobile phone comes from. This is your grandparent or precursor to your mobile phone technology. Um, it's the only operational vehicle of its type in the world. And so it's totally unique. With a nice little crew window. <coughs> um, I shall take you inside. This is a pure digital system. The system before Ptarmigan was a system called Bruin. Now Bruin was actually based on cables. So they were, every exercise, they were laying sometimes upwards of 11 kilometers of cable to build a telephone network. With this, it took that away. So we're no longer reliant on cable, but we're actually reliant on digital radio path. So through this subset here, which is basically like a telephone, I have a piece of equipment called a data adapter, which is old school word for modem for our old generation, they will understand is where communications get converted and moved onto something else. So I have a fax machine. So I had the ability to send faxes and pictures. Now here I've got a teleprinter, which is again kept to the same subset. And this is a receive teleprinter only. Um, it's just purely receiving actually in a sense, text messages, but they're in a very specific format for the military system. Behind me is a, a unit level exchange. Um, so if there were field telephones to a guard post or something else, they will be connected into here and the operator would then select the line and then select where he wants the line so to go So a bit to. like an old fashioned telephone old exchange. Old phone telephone yeah. exchange, yeah. Number please, sir, was a very used, well used phrase. <laughs> I had the ability to connect the Ptarmigan network to the, to the civilian network or to the guard post. Um, in front of the operator here is the single packet switch system, which is effectively um, a precursor to internet protocols for moving information through a network. It would divide a message up into little chunks send them out in pieces throughout the whole network and when they arrive at their destination they'll be reassembled and then delivered in a single piece. Okay so I've come forward now into the send operator position. Um, this is where messages will be typed and then sent out through the network. It is cramped, um, we say we have normally a, a crew of four to five on this vehicle um, when it's operational. Uh, they obviously you work in shifts um, normally two men on a shift awake at one time. The other two men will be asleep or on other duties, like guard duty or various other aspects of life in the field. In Germany, this vehicle would have been operating more in a more defensive retreat capability rather than offensive. So we'd be always behind our lines. In Iraq, we were deployed behind enemy lines because we were advancing and advancing in depth. Um, on the first day of operations, actually, in terms of the breach, we deployed 50 kilometers behind enemy lines and waited for the front line to catch up to us, at which point then we went beyond enemy lines again. Like leapfrogging, leapfrogging ahead. ahead. So then the, our armored forces would then catch up to us yes. and we'd move forward again. Thanks for watching. For more Forces news, like and subscribe to our channel.